All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, what we're going to be doing is adding leaf mulch around the onions and our garlic here. Uh, my wife and mother-in-law has been working hard weeding all around in between the uh, onions and garlic. And that's not something you want to do all the time. So we want to try to, to avoid doing that as much as possible. So we're going to be adding leaf mulch around the uh, onions and garlic. Now in the fall and the winter especially here, uh, more in the winter, I go around with my uh, DR leaf back and I suck up all the leaves from around the property. Then I put them in a big old pile over here and we're, that's what we're going to be using from that pile and putting them around the onions and garlic. Now, not only for that, but we also use it in our chicken run. We throw it in there and it really builds up the, uh, the chicken run floor that way. So you can see here the garlic is, f we did weed this a while back ago, but it's gotten overgrown again. And it's, we gotta pull all them weeds out. Um, the onions you can see here, they, they're looking really good right now. Um, all the weeds are, uh, taken off and now we're going to be adding the leaf mulch and that leaf mulch will do basically two things uh, one is hold moisture two is keep the weeds from coming out coming you know up through there um, the third thing that it does as an added bonus <laughs> after we harvest these onions you just leave the, the leaf uh, leaf mulch on there and what that'll do through the uh, through the summer is it'll break down of course and then when it comes time to at the end of the year to plant again somewhere December-ish uh, when it comes time to plant again I'm gonna till all those leaves and composted leaves down into the soil and it'll build the soil up again replant my onions when my onions get a little big you know uh, big enough then I'll put mulch around there again and start the whole process over again. Now, I'm late putting the mulch in now, but better late than never. So at least now, after we put the mulch in, we won't have to weed anymore. So um, let's do that now. Now, we want to put about a couple inches around the onions. Um, you won't need much more than that. Two or three inches is just fine. That'll keep the weeds down and it won't put pressure on the uh, bulbs because the dirt around, the soil around the um, onions, you don't want it compacted, of course. You want to remove the soil from around the bulbs. That way the bulb can grow and expand because if the soil is compacted, the bulb can't expand and grow. So um, the mulch won't have anything, you know, won't, won't bother that one bit. So we're gonna put that around all the onions here. Now, one word of caution here, and my advice is do not use straw, or hay for that matter. Um, hay is too big and, um, and, it, and it, it'll get damage your, uh, the, the onion tops here as you're putting it in there. But the most important thing, the reason why I would not use hay or straw um, straw, for instance, is the stalks of the wheat, okay? If y'all know about wheat, is the, especially here in the U.S., they spray it with glyphosate, okay? And different types of herbicides and all that. Um, so that residue is on that straw. And you're putting it all around here. It rains, you water it, and that residue goes down into your onions and stuff or anywhere in your garden for that matter if you're using it um, and you could have problems uh, meaning that 
your plant, your, your vegetables won't grow because of the herbicide. They're killing the weeds and they, they're usually broadleaf um, uh, herbicides. That they'll kill off anything that's got a broad leaf. So all your tomatoes, your peppers, and all, you know, all anything with a broad leaf, it, uh, it'll kill it off. So if you've noticed that in your garden where your uh, leaves are shriveling up or your plants are just not doing well, they're not growing and you got all that straw around there, um, then that's usually the problem. Um, it's really hard to find, if you can find straw that hasn't been sprayed, it's organic, then go for it. But uh, otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, bother with it. And, 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 and what you should be getting is this right here. This is just leaves, leaves from around my property. I don't spray around here and everything is uh, organic here, grown organically anyways. So leaves are your best bet from around your property. Um, you would, you can, if you live in the suburb, suburbs, you can even drive around in the fall and collect leaves. People throw their leaves out in bags out there. You can go get those, throw them in the back of your truck or a trailer and bring those all home. And it's wonderful. You can make yourself a wonderful compost pile and um, use them like this in your garden. Man, we've been finding huge, huge earthworms. Pretty huge anyways, because usually around here they're pretty small, but because I have a lot of composted leaves and manure over there, we get a lot of these. And these are very beneficial. I'm gonna put this guy, or Gale, under the leaves here that, that I put down. We'll have his new home there. All right, guys, we're gonna finish up here. There's a nasty storm coming, so we might have to pause here for a little bit. But you understand what I'm doing here. Leaves are just a you know, wonderful natural resource. They break down, feed the soil, feed the earthworms. The earthworms feed your soil, fertilize it. It's a win-win. Um, like I said, you can go around your neighborhood if you live in the suburbs. You can collect these uh, bags that people just throw out uh, of leaves and bring them home. You can use your lawnmower. Collect them with your lawnmower with a bagger. Put the bag on it and just bag it, and it'll mulch them up to a nice, you know, little pieces like this and that's perfect for what you need here in the garden um, and then they break down feed your soil again like I said when it's time to plant again all these leaves will be mostly broken down and I'll just till it all into the ground and start over again all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video